Hey guys, what's up? It's Chavi J here today. And for today's video, I have been talking about it for a minute on my social media. I'm going to do a video of Sephora Santa products because you know how every time when you walk into Sephora and they try to get you to like try all types of different things. Um, yeah, they like, they give me like a bunch of stuff, like literally. Um, because I'm very infamous going in there spending so much coin. So, you know, they'd be just throwing everything in the bag. And I'd be so grateful, honey, period. So, yeah, I got like a bunch of sampler products that I'm going to go through today. And I'm going to pick out some to make like a face with. Definitely. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so right away, I know that for lips, I'm going to use this Kat Von D Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick. It's a sampler. And I don't know which shade I'm going to use. I might go for shade Lolita because it's the one in the middle. It's Outlaw, Outlaw, Lolita, and then Vampire. No, Vampira. Okay, period. Yes. So I'm going to do shade Lolita for a lip today. Okay, we got some Kat Von D translucent powder. Y'all probably know that I don't use setting powder. Not really, I don't like to, but it is what it is. Urban Decay Perversion Volumizing Mascara, period. And for my birthday last year, I think this was the gift, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Shade Midnight or something. I use it very often and it still works, bitch. Oh, this one I use all the time. My Tarte Cosmetics Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush in shade PARTY! Period. It's my favorite. And look, this is how often I use this one. And it's crazy because I'm just now hitting the pan. So I'm obsessed with it. So I will be buying it for sure. Period. You guys see that? Yeah, so this is pretty much how I decide whether or not I'm going to buy a product. Uh, the longevity of it. I know they have shelf lives, so um, yeah, like this one definitely, like I didn't think I was gonna use it as much, but then I was obsessed with it because it, it did its job, honey. So that's what we're gonna use for blush. Oh, Becca Foundation, okay. Ultimate coverage, 24 hour foundation. Becca, okay, that's what's up, that's a, a cute little, Little momento right there, period. Back up, okay. So, I guess it, it looks a little too light for me, ladies and gents. But, um, you know, I don't care. I'll, I'll use it anyway. Um, okay. And what's this? The Original Beauty Blender Sample Size. Okay. Okay, I guess. Okay, so I guess I'll give my Fancy Beauty Beauty Blender a break and I'll use this Beauty Blender. It's Aqua Activated Minimal Product Waste Skin Mimicking Texture. It says try the one and only. Full size. I'm trying to read it in my bed. I'm shaking a little bit. I'm trying to read this. Full size original beauty blender for a true experience of the signature Edgeless 360 Bounce and Flawless application. Dry versus aqua activated. It shows you life size how it looks in the packaging and aqua activated. Here we are. Okay, so I guess I'll I guess I'll start this one off since it's like yeah. Um while well, I got out of there for the podcast. Girl, how the hell am I gonna do my face with this? Uh-uh, it's too small. They ain't, mm -mm, they ain't think that one through. Okay, sorry guys, I took a quick moment to go get my tweezers so I can open this thing and like aqua activate, activate, bitch. Anyway, um, uh-uh, 
have it's just like a science project what were they thinking oh is that why because i feel stupid these people need to like put instructions on the damn thing open sesame did you guys know it wasn't open sesame it's open sesame yeah okay so open the dang thing finally i'm just gonna put this in there oh good i mean oh god oh goodness uh-uh i thought it was supposed to soak <laughs> Okay, I don't know about that. We'll see. Anywho, let's go through the rest of the sampler products. Um, great skin starts here. Three-step system for combination oily skins. Okay, so they have a cleanse, exfoliate, and moisturize thing. Interesting, I hope they have another moisturizer. Otherwise, I'm going to use this moisturizer and moisturize first. Hmm. What's this? Oh, this is from Clinique, by the way. Clinique. And it comes with three packets. Period. Okay, and this is Clinique as well. Perfecting makeup to actively improve skin every time you wear it. And it even has broad spectrum SPF 15. Period. And it comes in three different shades. It comes in custard, cardamom, and truffle. Custard, cardamom, and truffle. I might have to use truffle as a contour. So, yeah, let's get ready for it. Um, sugar Mint Rush, Swipe On, Press Lips, Mint Rush. Okay, from Fresh, from Fresh. So it's a little lip, freshening lip treatment. Oh, bitch, yes. You guys know I love to moisturize my lips. Love to moisturize my lips while I do my makeup. So let's go ahead and just, you know, start that now. Period. How am I going to do that? Oh. This is so awkward. Mm. No, bitch, I'm not eating it. That's not why I said, um. I said, um, because, yeah, it's like, Okay, let me, oh, period. Okay. Ew. Ew. Okay. So, what else do we have in here? We have... Another Clinique thing with a different thing for exfoliation. Wow, okay, Clinique. I see you. Y'all really trying to push this product how I like. I like, I like, I like. Oh, look. Would you look at that? Uncle Jeffrey's gonna hate me. I hope not, though. Because these are samplers. I'd never actually buy the whole, the actual thing. This is Kat Von D Locket Foundation. Flexible, full coverage. In light, medium, and deep. There's four shades available here, but one is medium 54, and the other one's medium 65. Now valuable, 44 shades, period. I wonder why Morphe doesn't give out samples, because I would love to have... I mean, I should just buy Jeffree Star's products, right? Like, why not? Yeah. Medium to full coverage, one pea size droplet. <laughs> Bitch. Now I know that's a stretch. They lying. One pea size droplet to cover your whole face, honey. Period. Ooh. What was that? Okay, pores be gone matte primer from Hello Fab. Safe for sensitive skin because it's oil free. Period. So, this is our primer. First come, first serve, bitch. 
Born This Way. Unfor okay, and this is from Too Faced. Too Faced, Born This Way, Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. Warm beige. I don't know. Is it my skin tone? Because I don't know, this Becca one, it's just too bright. I don't know, we'll see. Then we have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Okay. Actually, bitch, I think this is what we'll use for primer. I'm sorry, hello, fab. First Aid Beauty. Don't know her, won't use her, but I have her of Milk Makeup Hydro. Take your skin on a trip hybrid primer. Infuse a skin with hydrating hemp derived cannabis extract while blue agave grips to keep makeup locked in place all day. Good ingredients, epic payoff, cruelty free, paraben free, and 100% vegan. Ew. So for all my tree hugging friends, we got us a product, period. And what's this? Bare Minerals Naturally Luminous Duo Combination Skin. A cleanse, okay, that's cute. Oh, it's, okay. I think they have a typo right here because it says Bare Minerals, the packaging, and I don't see anywhere here that it says that the name is um, Rare Minerals. But right here it says, what makes rare minerals active soil complex so special? Yeah. Typo! Recall. It's a facial cleanser and a nourishing moisturizer. Okay, so because I don't want to get into my clinique yet, I might actually want to try that out. I might do use that one as my moisturizer. Um, okay. Okay, so Becca. Okay, has, Becca has um, some primers in here. Do I wanna do all Becca samplers today? I have Becca this, Becca foundation. What else do I have that's Becca? Nothing, Never mind. So it looks like I won't be using just Becca. Oh, I don't have, clearly they don't have eyeliner in here for my waterline, so I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Cajal. And I didn't see no highlighter either, so obviously I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty highlighter. So now we have a full face. Now it's just time to like get in it, get into it, honey. Okay, lay down. My dog is like obsessed with me, as he should be. Um, so he's like laying right here as I film, which is okay. I brought his doggy bed over here. So yeah. Anywho, I'm gonna do my eyebrows first with my with my stuff because clearly I don't have anything for eyebrows in here. So yeah, let me just do my eyebrows. Okay, done with my eyebrows, guys. So now we're going to moisturize. I should have moisturized before I did my f***ing eyebrows. Ugh, what's wrong with me? It's primer. Moisturizer. Bare minerals. Oh well, first come, first serve. Moisturize. So you guys never really see me Moisturize on camera. That's something I usually do off camera. How the hell am I gonna do this? Um, but yeah, I guess I'll moisturize on camera today since we're doing a video of nothing but. Mm -mm, bitch. Uh oh, this is a lot, how? What? I, damn. That, okay, I could. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, so bare minerals, a little goes a long way because bitch, that felt like a lot. Wow, and I still have some that shows on my skin. Well, okay, so, wow. Yeah, my eyebrows probably don't match. They look jank, but so what, bitch? That was really nourishing. Wow. Okay, Bare Minerals, I see you. I see you, girl. Yes. I like that. I might buy, because you know I need me a good moisturizer, how? Because I'm tired of that eucalyptus tea from whatever the hell I got it. But yeah. I cannot have my hair interrupting me. I didn't secure the bun, guys. That's why. So now I'm moving on to primer, Milk Hydro Primer, Hydro Grip Primer. I'm so excited to use this. I see so many like, you know, things on Facebook and Instagram, you know, their model or whatever the girl is. I think she's the global artist for, oh girl, I'm only going to use a little bit because bitch, I don't know how, what the consistency of this product's gonna be and clearly for bare minerals a little in a long way so we're going to treat milk as if it's the same oh okay mm -hmm. oh bitch that's so fresh oh goodness oh wow That just makes my skin feel so good, ho. Like, what the hell? Uh-huh. Okay. Wow. I like. Okay, guys. I like that. I like the way that felt on my skin. Like, wow. Hydro Milk Primer, definitely a go, ho. Okay, so now, oh my goodness, and look, I'm still like, wasn't this supposed to grow already? Ah! I can't, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not aqua activated. Guys, it's not even, it still has like somewhere to go. So because of that, I'm not gonna use this. I can't do that, bitch. I'm not. I'm not gonna deal with that. Okay, so it looks like whatever the hell this is, water activated the original beauty blender. I, no, sorry, honey. I'm not gonna use this one. I don't know what you're trying to do with it. Like, we'll just stick to the actual bouncing beauty blender. I'm going to use my Fenty beauty blender. Sorry, I don't give a fuck. It's dirty. Oh, this bitch really is a little dirty. Ooh, oh well. Let me use some of your puddle to dampen my beauty blender, ho. Yes, dampen, ho. Period. Okay. Okay, so which one are we going to use, ladies? Are we going to use Becca? Are we going to use Kat Von D or Too Faced? This one obviously is going to have one that's my shade. I'm just gonna give this one a go, the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. I would do a... Oh, honey, no, this is too light. I could already tell. No, uh, bitch, that is so light. Like, honey, yo no quiero ser gringa, coño, que esto? Oh my God. Let's just test the water, see what's popping. Oh my God. <laughs> no, girl. 
Really? Really? Wouldn't it be so crazy if I like found that I'm actually more fair skinned than I thought? I don't know, I can't do this. I can't do it. I am Latina. I have natural redness in the skin. I know that I'm not this light. Because I think I'm not. <sighs> Goodness, I'm having a midlife crisis now. And I'm even in my mids. Honey, no, that's just like, no. And I'm sorry, but no. No, it's a no for me. Sorry, Becca, you are not my shave. I might use that as concealer. Yay, at least we found the purpose for you, girl. I knew right away it wasn't my shave. No, it makes me look too pale, guys. Yeah, no, I ain't even gonna, I'm not worried about it. We got Kat Von D to the rescue. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna do it, Kat Von D. I'm gonna go for medium 54 neutral Kat Von D locket. She said a piece ass thing is gonna cover my whole face. Well, let's see, honey. Medium 54 neutral. That is what we're gonna use. Medium 54 neutral, and I hope there's enough to cover my face. I have faith. Okay. Oh, honey. Why it look like that? Why it smell like that? <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I mean, I'm not kidding. It smells like there's alcohol in it. I don't know, guys, but... I don't know, guys. There's something... I don't know. We're just gonna try it. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it, guys. Not yet, at least. Okay. You see, this is definitely my shade, bitch. Like this, I feel so safe. I feel comfortable with this shade, period. Come through, Miss Kat Von D, girl. Okay. And already, I'm seeing that it makes my skin look very... I don't know, it's like, it's making my skin look very airbrushy. I don't know if it's my shade exactly, cause it still looks a little too, I mean, it's more peachy than the Becca one, that's for sure. Cause I, I, I know I'm not too tan. I don't live in Florida anymore. So I'm not as tan as I used to be. Definitely getting under the neck. You know what? I like it. I do. Ain't no reason for me to shave the product. I like it. I actually really like it. I don't know if this is my shade per se, 100%. I might be somewhere in between the 54 and 65, to be honest. Yeah. Cat Von D girl. The finish, like, 
that's what I'm mostly obsessed with at the moment. The fact that it just looks so, like, it just looks so good. Like, and mind you, I mean, I can still, at least you know it's not going to block your pores because I can still see my pores a little bit. But, yeah. Does anyone else get like a, a semi runny nose when they're doing their makeup? It's like mad annoying. I don't think I'm going to use any setting powder because if I'm being honest, this looks a little cakey. Yeah. This looks like a little cakey, guys. Mind you, I moisturized, I primed, and all that. Yeah. I like how it's looking right now. Like, from afar, bitch, yes. But if I get close enough, and I don't know how it looks if someone were to talk to me, but, oh God, yeah, the little cakey. Looks so like, like a little bit of a too much powdery finish. But I, I, um, <laughs> I ain't mad at the product itself, just the finish. Um, so yeah, now let's move on to concealing. I guess we're going to give Miss Becca a go. Yeah. <sighs> Bitch! Ugh. We're gonna give Miss Becca a go. Under the eyes. This is foundation. Not concealer, keep in mind. So, I don't know how it's gonna look. Oh, honey. Did I just mess myself up? I mean, it looks like a concealer. A little too bright concealer. <laughs> That's okay, that's just under the eye. I'm trying not to crease my face because of the powdery look, guys. Sorry. And yeah, I shouldn't have concealed like I usually do. I may go back in with my I may go back in with the Kat Von D foundation just in case I messed up and got a little too bright. And I would love to love the product, but it's too bright for me. Sorry, Becca. Going to have to ultimately be a no. Like it's too bright, like under my eyes. It's a little too bright, so it's obviously gives it like a foundation. I'm gonna try to use it as like. Okay, just give me some 